Hey guys, welcome back. We're so glad you're here. This series is going to be so fun. And we've got a special guest, Bronson, to help us. We're going to be learning all about the armor of God. You can find the armor of God in Ephesians chapter 6. These verses explain to us all the different protection we need as believers. There's going to be six weeks for this series. And this week, we're going to be learning about the belt of truth. We're approaching hockey season, so we thought we can use hockey to explain to us the parts of God's armor. Let's go learn about hockey. I mean, let's go learn about the armor of God. Today's big point is, I am wrapped in God's truth. Say it with me. I am wrapped in God's truth. Today's Bible story is about a guy named Daniel. He was a very faithful believer of God, and he spent a lot of time praying and following God's plan for his life. Daniel was a court official in the Babylonian court. He was very good at his job and worked there for many years. Daniel was even promoted to be in charge of the entire empire. The other court officials got jealous and tried to even find flaws and bad things about Daniel, but they were unsuccessful. Daniel was faithful, loyal, and trustworthy, and everyone knew it. The other court officials decided that Daniel's only weakness was his faith. They went to the king and told him to make a new law. This new law was to throw people into the lion's den if they prayed or worshipped anyone except the king. This meant that if Daniel prayed to God, which he did three times a day, every day, Daniel would be thrown into the lion's den. The king signed the law, and in those days, when a king signed the law, it could not be overruled and there were no exceptions made. When Daniel heard about the law, he chose to go home and pray to God. Daniel did not stop praying and continued to pray three times a day, just as he did before the law was created. The other court officials went to Daniel's house and caught him praying. So they went and told the king what Daniel had been doing, and the king was very upset when he heard this. The king loved Daniel and spent a whole day trying to think of a way to save Daniel. But because the king signed the law with no exceptions, there was nothing the king could do to save Daniel. The king was given no choice but to put Daniel in the lion's den. So he ordered the guards to go get Daniel and meet them at the den full of lions. Before throwing Daniel in, the king said to Daniel, May your God, who you are faithful to, save you. And then Daniel was thrown in and the door was sealed shut, leaving Daniel in the lion's den with a bunch of hungry lions and no way to escape. The king spent all night worrying, and as soon as the sun started to rise, he ran down to the den and yelled to Daniel, and Daniel responded. Daniel explained to the king that God had sent an angel to shut the lion's mouth. This made it so that the lions could not harm Daniel. God saw that Daniel did nothing wrong and showed him mercy. The king was so happy that Daniel wasn't hurt. The king ordered all the guards to pull Daniel straight out of the den. Daniel knew the word of God. He also spent a lot of time praying to God and following God's direction. Daniel was being faithful to God, and it not only saved his life, but it also showed the king how powerful our God really is. What we can learn from this is that the belt of truth will keep the rest of your armor on just like how it keeps your own pants on. And the truth is the word of God. We keep the rest of our armor on properly, being faithful to God's word. This means by reading our Bible and doing what it says. We are helping the rest of your armor protect us from the devil. Today's memory verse is found in the book of John. And it says, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. John 8:32. Hey guys, and welcome to the Faith Kids Arena. We're here with Blake and Kiara. And today we're going to see which of our contestants is faster. I have an obstacle course set up here and each contestant will get a turn to go through all of the obstacles as fast as they can. Are you ready? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so Kiara, you're going to go first. You can go to the start and I'm going to hand you a stick and a ball. Does anybody have a belt? I left mine at home. Um, no, sorry, but it'll be okay. You'll be fine. All right. Three, two, one, go. Go Kiara, you can do it. Around the rock, around the rock. Run home, run home. Okay, awesome. So now our next contestant, Blake, is gonna go. Here's your stick. Okay, three, two, one, go! You can do it, Blake. Go, go, go! Run! And our winner is Blake. He beat Kiara by ten whole seconds. 
Laura struggled in our obstacle course with her pants, we can sometimes struggle in life with our spiritual pants when they won't stay up. We have to make sure we are always reading our Bibles and wearing our belts of truth. Let's review our big point and memory verse. Our big point was, I'm wrapped in God's truth. Our memory verse was, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. John 8, 32. That concludes week one of the Armor of God. We hope you learn lots about the first piece of armor. We challenge you to wake up every morning and put on your belt of truth when you're getting dressed, just like this. This will help you overcome all the difficult things throughout the day because you'll know in your heart that you are wrapped in God's truth and God's truth will set you free from the enemy. We'll see you next week when we learn about the breastplate of righteousness. I can't wait. See you then. Bye! Bye.